Hello everybody, my name is Pakistan and welcome to back to People Playground. Now this may look a little bit different than People Playground because I am actually playing on a mod called People Playground 3D. This mod was created by five different people and it is available on the Steam Workshop if you want to try it out yourself. It will also be in the link in the description. Right now we have a human right here and we are going to test out what we can do. Now in this game as you can see there are aren't any as uh, as much stuff as in the normal version of the game. So what we can try out is maybe a sword. Oh, I, and I actually can pick it up like so. And... <laughs> this is actually very well made for a mod. Like imagine having to make a 3D mod for a 2D game. And there he goes. We also have an android, and we can probably kill him with... Let's try a sniper rifle. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, one more try. He must be dead by now. There he goes, he's dead. I just found out that you can actually shoot through structures. So if I have the sniper rifle here, and I shoot this pillar... It actually has an intent, as you can see. I can also toggle the gravity and stuff like this. How do I pick it up? Oh, oh left click. Or right click, I mean. <laughs> and then we have the almighty god, Wilson. And what does he say? To be honest, I haven't really found a lot of stuff to do with this mod, but that's because I haven't really played it a lot. So, let's see if we can find something weird. Alright, let's see how this does. <laughs> uh oh. I think we'll have to save him. We're gonna shoot the thruster. Uh oh. Look at the rivers. I saved you. Are you alright? Ah. Uh, I think he's dead. There's still a lot of stuff in this game, like the industrial generator. And I think it also works. So if we place this human on it. Uh, maybe not. We also have the boombox. I got the Wilson. <laughs> this mod has so I many weird Wilson. stuff. Let's place Wilson on top of that video. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, that's almost everything I have to do with this mod. So let's on to mo move on to the next mod. Which will be armored plates that actually work. So we have this. We have a medieval armor, which we can place onto this human here. And it actually works as armor. Well, maybe not medieval armor is the best armor for guns, but... It semi-works. Alright, dude, you ready? 3, 2, 1. That works much better than the... Than the medieval set. What if I shoot him into the forehead? It actually saves him. But what if I shoot him in the face? Yeah, okay. Maybe not so. The armor set also works on robots. So we can make a super robot. Alright, right now we have a robot wearing almost every armor set in the mod. Let's test him against the assault rifle. Is that got his health? Yeah, he looks fine. Doesn't seem to be damaging him a lot. Alright, let's pick up the big guns. The artillery. So, we have a cannon here. Let's try to shoot him and see if it does anything. Well, it's here just knocking back, but uh, I don't think it is damaging him a lot. Is he got some health? No, I think his health is good. What if I shoot him a couple times? Like so. Whoa, okay. That was quite powerful. Yeah, okay, it penetrated a little bit. He is, has half health. Alright, let's test him against a rocket launcher. Or to be more exact, the bazooka. One more. 
Oh, missed. One more. Uh, how are you doing? Well, he's actually just fine. This mod was surprisingly made by just one person, and his name on Steam is... Weird, though. This mod is called Functioning Armor, and it is downloadable, again, on the Steam Workshop. But let's touch something more. Can armor save you from falling to your death? Let's find out. Alright, here we have him, wearing almost every armor set in the game. So, let's see if he survives the fall. Nope. There he goes. <laughs> Halfway down. Oh, is he gonna hit the corner? Oh no. Oh no, he just missed it. Alright. And... Um, I don't think armor is going to save you from fall damage, but uh, at least he tried. But I think it is time to test which armor set is better. The modern armor set or the ancient armor set? And they have their own weapons. So, let's start with a spear against the modern military set. And throw it. Well, it sure did some damage, but it didn't kill him, surprisingly. It really hit him in the neck, though, so he's gonna blade out very soon. Anyways, he did not survive the spear, but he must have survived the spear if it would hit him in the body, but sadly hit him in the neck. Now, let's test the ancient armor set against the assault rifle. And three, two, one. <laughs> All right, um... Maybe explosive powder and metal pellets aren't really, are really a little bit too powerful. Well, let's see the ancient fire weapon, which is the crossbow, or aka just the normal bow. Let's see if we shoot that against a modern military set. Three, two, one. Yeah, nothing really. But if we hit him in the face, he... Yeah. So, he would have survived, but... A headshot would have been a one-shot kill. The question is, can he at least survive a Glock in the head? So three, two, one. No, he cannot. All right. Maybe guns are just too powerful. But crossbows can also work if you hit in the right spots. Anyways, that's that mod. Let's move on to the next mod, which is the B-17 Flying Fortress made by Moon on Steam. This is actually, again, available on Steam Workshop if you want it, or in the link in the description. And this is probably one of my favorite airplanes in the game. As you can see, this is just a normal bomber, but it has actually a working bomb bay, which you can actually drop bombs. So, let's test out this plane. To start the engine, you press K. And it goes in the air. Then we press L for the landing gear. Alright. And then we just steer with arrow keys, so up and down. But let's test out the bomb bay, so we press B and... <laughs> and... Down they go. Sadly they all explode at the same time because... Because of the radius of the bombs, but it's still very nice. Alright, let's see if I can actually land this plane. I've been really struggling with doing so, but let's see if we can do so. So, start by cutting off the engine. And now we are just floating. Then we go down. And I think we are stalling. Um, there's the land. Oh no. Save us! Oh no. Um, uh oh. And it's going to hit the fuel tank. Oof. Almost. Um, we gotta save the survivors. Oh. Um, something just flew into space. Uh, any survivors? We have one. Uh, another survivor here. He is that. Oh, no, he died. All right. We have another survivor injured, and everyone else is dead. Okay, let's see if we can try to save these guys. So this guy is unconscious right here. Just gotta get it free. And this is in the way. Oh no, this is in the way. Okay, let's unbuckle him. And you're free. 
And just like that, we saved two people from a plane crash. Oh, is he okay? His legs are broken, but uh, I think we can fix that. All right, two survivors. Very nice. All right, so I made this small town here with a couple of people, and I really want to test out the bombing of the plane, and let's see if it actually does any damage to these buildings. Let's start the engine. And up we go, and we will release the bombs in three, two, one. Uh, that's maybe a little bit too light. Right, something like this. I think this should work. Um, <coughs> no, okay, I guess not. Well... Okay, let's delete the plane, I'm losing all my frames. It didn't do a lot of damage, it only damaged one wall, but I think the building... Yeah, it's going to collapse. Or is it? Is it stable? I don't know. Okay, let's test out... Let's place a couple more bombs. Alright, so you guys ready? Three, two, one. And the bombs are dropping. Uh oh. And the building is collapsed. Ah, oh, and will that building collapse too? What if I delete this? But it's swinging a lot, let's see. And there it goes. Uh oh. Well, that was... Yeah, but I have one more mod that I want to go over, and that is... The Destroyer version 2 Mark Three. Uh, what is that sound? Alright, I fixed it. There's no sound anymore, but we have a battleship. And it actually works, I think. So... Uh, what are those? Oh. And there it goes. Forward. Alright. Uh, we have a bunch of guns and... Bunch of stuff. There aren't any humans inside it though, but we can out our own. So let's check out if we can make two battleships battle. Let's spawn in another one. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> and it also has uh, this thing. And then it turns around, goes down. Yeah, okay. Well, that was cool. Anyways, let's clear the map. This is very like I'm getting 8 frames per second. Alright, let's see if the ship can survive one of these lasers. So, let's shoot. Uh, no, we cannot. I just shot the fuel tanks and it just exploded. That was a large explosion. Alright, I'm at a little outpost on the coast right here with a Massive cannon at the bottom of the house, a sniper, and a man with a bazooka. So, we have the ship right there. Wait, you see that laser? It's aiming right at the house. Okay, wait, maybe we can start by letting these guys shoot, because I think the, uh, the rocket will just make the house explode instantly. So, let's start with shooting the cannon. Let's see if it does actually any damage. And... Oh. The ship actually defended itself from that very well. Anyways, let's see if a sniper can do anything. So, let's shoot. Ah, I hit. Let's maybe place a one or two guys right here. Let's see if it actually does anything. And maybe one guy right here. Let's shoot the bazooka. In three, two, one. There he goes. Oh, wow. Okay, one more time, one more time. One more time. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if the laser thing here can actually do a lot of damage. So let's shoot. Self-defense. There goes the rocket. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, the house did not have any chance. It even can shoot one more time. And there it goes. Just in case. And now definitely no one's alive. Just imagine some spy went into the ship and deployed a bomb in the ship. So something like that. And in three, two, one. Let's go with slow motion. Oh my god, that will this will be a big explosion. Oh wait, it actually survived, okay. Maybe two bombs. Okay, there it goes. It's exploding. <laughs> it's just bright light in the middle. Oh, it didn't do much damage. Maybe because I was in slow motion. Let's, let's just fill it to the brim with dynamite. Alright, we're down to 15 frames per second. And it's full of dynamite. So, you guys ready? 3, 2, 1. <laughs> oh my god. And the ship is... And the ship is gone. It's just debris now. Anyways, that's that for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.